Um, so we're, Grace and I are making bee houses for the native bees that um, uh, will be searching for uh, places to live in the park. Um, so the native bees, some of which are leafcutter and mason bees, um, use um, tubes. Um, some of them are tubes that are actually uh, plants that are in the park, um, but we could also fabricate tubes from logs that also came from the park that we saved. Um, so we're drilling holes of that length so that they can, um, you know, see if they like them and choose to uh, lay their eggs and, and nest here. So this one we did um, uh, uh, like tubes on both sides, um, but I think we go between like eight and ten inches. Yeah. So that we have the proper depth for the for the tubes. And you don't want the the tube to come out the other side. You want it to have it back. How do you display them on the park or arrange them? Well, um, these in particular are going to go on the ground, um, in the garden beds. Flat like this? Yeah. Um, and the opening needs to face south, so this needs to face south right here, because the, the bees like it better when there's some warmth on their opening. Huh. Uh, and some of the other ones that we created have like a, a little awning to hmm. keep a little that's also like one of the design principles that we read up on. Um, but these are where experimenting um, without them. Um, so we're just like doing as many different variations on a theme and see what works. Because um, last year I actually saw leafcutter bees uh, living in the tapers. So, and that's not common for them to like just go underground like that in terms of like not having at least from what we can see, soil or a sun, sun directly on them. So um, who knows what, like, if there was some plant matter underneath there that they're using as, as a, an, an egg nesting site? You don't really know, but I know I saw them going in the tapers. <laughs> so see how this is like a natural over, a natural awning that was, yeah. mm -hmm. we didn't do that. It was just oh. that way. So you could you could try to cut the wood. That, that's actually ideal. It. So we uh -huh. just left it. Great. Do you want to see a finished one with a stake? Can they use any type of wood? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, I don't think there's a preference of wood. <laughs>